I'm up and out about to go for my run and I was just lying in bed and I was thinking should I go or should I not go because my problem is I know I'm gonna get injured again but I kind of I can't do anything like half-heartedly if I'm doing something I have to like be all in and doing it so I have to go running every day otherwise I know I won't go and that is a little bit of a problem but we'll see right I'm off I'll speak to you later It is not a nice morning at all. It, well, it was when I went on my run. It was lovely, but just gone to leave for school and it's pissing down. So we've lent an umbrella. Well, it's not pissing down, it's just it's spitting slightly, I suppose. It's pissing down with a complete exaggeration. It's spitting slightly. So we've bought an umbrella. It's stopped raining now, it's just incredibly windy. Today we're not going, well we are going to school but we've got kind of like a little, oh my goodness I've knocked these a little bit sick, we've got dead ducks and live ducks and live chickens and dead chickens on his bike, oh, oh that was what? gross, I hate that, what? I'm like, oh that man's bike there, it's dead chickens and live chickens and, oh, horrible, two um, too dead, yeah, anyway, yeah we're going, we don't really understand, at first we thought, when they told us last week we were going to a police museum, and then yesterday they were talking about the fact it's uh, National Vi National Women's Day in Vietnam tomorrow. Kind of it's a bit like um, like a Valentine's Day type thing where men buy flowers and things for their wives or girlfriends or whatever. And so I think they were saying yesterday about going to a, the Women's Museum today. I don't know. I don't know whether it's a police museum or a women's museum. We'll just have to kind of wait and see when we get there. We're supposed to be there early because we're leaving early, but as usual. We're running a little bit late in the morning. It's because we were leaving and then we forgot to push our teeth. We're to go back and push our teeth. Anyway, stop rambling. Maybe it's police museum because loads of them have come in police outfits. Hiya. half eight. Me and Stephen were saying I'm so glad that we didn't go to that museum when we were in Hanoi because it was near the, uh, the uh, what's it called, the prison museum that we went to. So I'm so glad we didn't decide to go in that museum as well otherwise. And I'm really annoyed that we went to go, get to go, went to get to go, got to go again today. We're heading home now for some lunch and some editing I think. We've been back at home for ages now. It's like six o'clock. I'm just, oh, 
I was just going to say, I've just been on a phone call for my sister, with my, for my sister, with my sister. But it's just cut out. She's just phoning me back now. See if it works. Yes, it works. I'll speak to you in a bit. Finally got off the phone to my sister. I don't mean that. We've been, <laughs> we've been on the phone for about an hour and a half. It's something stupid. It's now dark outside. It's kind of interfered with my evening completely because we were going to go and fly the drone in the park. But now dark can't do it so i think i am just gonna do a little bit of work on the computer and we'll have some tea soon and then i don't know we might go for a little wander at some point tonight i don't know i feel like i don't really want to just sit in this evening but there's nothing to do here it's a little bit frustrating i am i'm kind of i'm ready to move on from here now as, as much as i'm i am i'm really quite enjoying the school and going to school every day and stuff and I, I have kind of it's taken me a while to get into it but I kind of feel like I've just started to really start enjoying myself just as it's over really um but I am ready to move on to somewhere else somewhere that is a bit more not necessarily lively because where we're planning on going next is not more lively whatsoever but I don't know just doing more just different things, not more things, different things as opposed to like just being in school all day. That's what I mean, different things. Who's been called down? It's dinner time. Shout time. Time for dinner. Yeah. Mm. Cute. You're so big. I'm so big. Yeah. I am gonna go <laughs> scare you. Don't scare me whatsoever. I'm gonna go for a little one this evening. I'm trying to persuade Stephen. He's like, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. Being his usual miserable self. Um I'm gonna go for a wonder. It is a wonder. I'm gonna go for a wonder. It is being, I've mentioned before, it's Vietnamese Women's Day tomorrow. And so apparently there's loads and loads of flower stores. We saw them before when we were walking home. There seems to be loads more flower stores and things around and I just wanted to to be honest, I wanted to get out this evening anyway. And so I'm just gonna go and have a little little ten minute walk or so. Stephen won't come. I'll go by myself. It's fine. Okay, so I came out tonight on the premise of seeing, I don't know if you can hear me, it's so busy this road here, but I came out on the premise of seeing loads of flower stores, like getting organised and ready, preparing for Vietnamese Women's Day tomorrow. <laughs> Which, by the way, I asked people that were staying with whether it was kind of like the similar thing to Valentine's Day. And they're saying that no, it's not the same really as Valentine's Day. It's the Valentine's Day is for kind of it's for like husband, wife, boyfriend, like lovers. Whereas Vietnamese Women's Day is more of a just a men to women type of thing. So you can do it for your sister or for you know, for any female relation. I'm gonna go and walk through this flower bit and go and have a look at all the flowers and things. Oh my goodness, there are so many flower arrangements and I can just imagine that they work through the whole entire night. I just come and sat in a little park 
a little bit. Did I say that Stephen didn't come with me? I think I did say that. I've just come out by myself. I'm just going to sit and chill in the park just for five minutes by myself. It's quite nice just to, like, through the main road is just there. You can probably still hear the uh, bikes beeper and stuff, but it's just nice to just come away from it for a second and just have a little relax in this little park. There's a big gang of people just doing uh, some sort of martial art thing there. I'll show you. So I'm just sitting watching them for a second. Having a little relax for five minutes in the park. It's nice. I so can't believe how many flower arrangements that there are. It's unbelievable. Like you think Valentine's Day back in England is mad? This is crazy. It's not honestly Valentine's Day has nothing on what is going on on these streets here. It is madness. I just got to thinking a little bit about like leaving this place. We've been in this place for three weeks now and weird the whole thing about traveling I'm gonna have to let my arms hit and um, this is the first place that I've kind of felt a connection with in terms of people everywhere else I have loved being and Hong Kong particularly was definitely one of my favorite places um, but here it's kind of just the friendliness because we're in not a very um, touristy place everyone is so for and I I think that people say that Vietnamese people are not very friendly. Oh my goodness, they are the friendliest people I have ever met. Everybody says hello. I can't walk five minutes without at least five people saying hello to me. And I will be, I'll be sad to leave. I really will be sad to leave. As much as I'm kind of ready to leave and I'm ready to move on and do different things, like I was saying before, I will definitely really miss this place. I really will. Well, they're keeping the crap out of each other over there. <laughs> Can you hear them? Hi, hi. Well, I'm going to wander back now, I think. Back to the flower stores. This is the back of one of the flower store things, and these are all the like cases to make um, arrangements they're going to make tonight. Oh my goodness, look at all the baskets up there. And all of these cases. There is literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. That is crazy. So many flower arrangements. Wow. Literally anyone who's anyone is selling flowers tonight. Okay, I've managed to get myself completely lost. I did this this morning on my board. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I ended up running like half a mile extra. And I just got completely lost. And I've done it again. The, where we are living is, there's loads of just like, can you see it on the map? You can't even see it. But it's all just like loads of, it's like loads of squares, like road, 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 square, like um, like a knots and crosses board type of thing. But keeps on going forever. And so like if you miss your one turn, like you get confused. My camera just died when I was outside. No idea, I can't remember what I was saying. But I'm going to end the vlog here. Me and Stephen are going to watch a movie. I think we were planning on watching a movie last night, but we didn't watch one. So we're going to have a semi, no, it's nine o'clock. We're going to say an early night. It wouldn't be that early by the time we watch a movie, but we're going to watch a movie and go to bed. Thank you for watching today. I hope you've had a wonderful day, whatever you have done. Say goodnight, Stephen. Good night, Stephen. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.